Um, so there are times, I mean, I run a center for the study of hate. There are times where uh, people will be scapegoated. And it's not just anti-Semitism. There are other times where people try to reduce things into simple things and hold individuals responsible. And that's particularly on a campus why I, I find very difficult. It's not just this issue. I, I have in my book, um, in 2006, I believe, I was talking to students at Barnard. And we were doing a workshop on anti-Semitism over dinner. 11 o'clock at night, a bunch of us are still around talking. And a student says, gee, this is the first time I felt comfortable saying what I really think about Israel. And I was sort of startled by that. And I said, you know, is, is that um, just something that happens here? Or do you have friends at other campuses where that happens too? And she said, yes. And I said, is it only about Israel? And she said, no. So, you know, to, to weigh... Are you going to, um, you know, have a friendship that's going to be hurt? Are you going to have a grade that you're worried about that's going to be diminished? Um, that, to me, is the opposite of what a campus should be. Um, and so part of the answer to this, at least on a campus, ought to be administrators and others saying, we're protecting you from being harassed, we're protecting you from being intimidated, we're protecting you from being discriminated against. But if you're spending time and money to come here, you better be prepared to have your thinking shaken up, to be disturbed by ideas. That's why we're here. We want you to be disturbed by ideas to your core and then think about how you're going to deal with them for the rest of your life when you're not on campus.